The Middle East isn't just rich in history, it carries that history in its DNA. We've all heard of the biblical tribes, but how much do we really know about their genetic legacy? In this episode, we uncover the ancestral roots of modern Jewish groups, Ashkenazim, Sephardim, and Mizrahim. But our exploration doesn't stop there. We'll also delve into the ancient Arab lineages that still echo through the region. The Israelites, Midianites, Ammonites, Moabites, and the descendants of Joktan. One of the most fascinating questions we'll explore is this. Which of today's Jewish populations are genetically closest to the ancient Israelites? And how has intermixing over millennia shaped the identities of both Jews and Arabs? If questions like these fascinate you, where science meets scripture and genetics brings ancient history to life, don't miss out. Hit that subscribe button and join Send Stories for more deep dives into the hidden truths of our shared past. By examining ancient DNA and modern genetic markers, we can trace ancestral paths, confirming or sometimes challenging what historical and biblical records tell us. Are science and scripture in harmony, or will the evidence lead us somewhere unexpected? Thanks to DNA recovered from ancient sites like Tel Abel, Beth Mara, and Tel Megiddo, locations deeply tied to biblical narratives, we now have a clearer picture of ancient Israelite genetics. These samples provide a critical bridge between past civilizations and the present-day descendants of the region. Ancient Israelites descended from a blend of three main genetic groups, Natufians, Neolithic Anatolians, and Neolithic Iranians. This unique mix gave rise to the broader Semitic genetic profile found not only in ancient Hebrews, but also in Arabs, Syrians, Palestinians, and others throughout the Levant. These findings are essential for understanding the deep genetic roots of Semitic peoples, especially during the Bronze Age. Let's begin with the Ashkenazim, often referred to as European Jews. Over the years, they've been the subject of numerous theories, some accurate, others misleading. One persistent myth suggests that Ashkenazi Jews descended from the Khazars, a Turkic people who supposedly converted to Judaism. However, this theory has been widely discredited by both historians and geneticists. Genetic studies confirm that Ashkenazi Jews have clear ancestral links to ancient Israelites, though centuries in Europe introduced intermixing. While some Turkish DNA is present, it makes up a very small percentage, about 1.5% of their overall genetic makeup. Overall, about 39% of their ancestry ties back to ancient Semitic roots. The remaining DNA, predominantly European, reflects historical migrations and integration during their time in Central and Eastern Europe. Interestingly, the exact percentage of Israelite DNA varies. German Ashkenazim, 24% to 14%. Lithuanian Ashkenazim, 29% to 22%. Polish Ashkenazim, 27% to 16%. Despite the European influence, Ashkenazi Jews have preserved a significant portion of their Jewish genetic identity, making them a vital part of the Jewish diaspora's historical tapestry. Now we turn to the Sephardic Jews, those historically from the Iberian Peninsula, Spain and Portugal, as well as parts of North Africa. These communities interacted heavily with Mediterranean cultures, particularly during their time in Spain, Morocco, Tunisia, and Algeria. Sephardic Jews typically carry 40% to 50% ancient Israelite Semitic DNA, slightly higher than Ashkenazim. They also possess about 27% Southern European ancestry, reflecting centuries of cohabitation with Iberian populations. Additionally, 8% to 18% of their DNA is linked to the Maghreb, showing connections to Berber, Arab, and Semitic North African groups. Roughly 19% of their genetic makeup also traces back to ancient European populations, revealing even deeper layers of ancestry. These findings highlight the complexity of Sephardic Jewish heritage, combining strong Semitic roots with Mediterranean and North African influences. Among the major Jewish groups, Mizrahi Jews, those from Middle Eastern countries like Iraq, Iran, and Syria, are the most genetically aligned with ancient Israelites. Syrian Mizrahim, for example, show about 69% Israelite DNA, while Iraqi Mizrahi Jews display an astonishing 85.2%. These high percentages are largely due to fewer instances of intermarriage with non-Semitic populations, 
and the geographic continuity of living in the region historically occupied by the ancient Israelites. Iraqi Jews' only notable genetic admixture comes from ancient Persian populations, accounting for around 14%. Iranian Mizrahim, meanwhile, have about 38% Israelite DNA, with the remaining portion reflecting ancient Iranian ancestry. These numbers make Mizrahi Jews the strongest genetic link to the Israelites of the Bronze Age, offering an unmatched continuity with their ancient forebears. While all Jewish groups share paternal Semitic roots, maternal lineages tell a more nuanced story. Mizrahim and Sephardim have retained more maternal ancestry from ancient Middle Eastern populations than Ashkenazim, suggesting deeper continuity on both sides of the family tree in these communities. Each group, Ashkenazi, Sephardi, and Mizrahi, holds a unique piece of the genetic and cultural legacy of ancient Israel. Together, they represent the diverse evolution of Jewish identity through time and space. Now let's shift our focus to Arab ancestry. A common misconception is that all Arabs descend solely from Ishmael, son of Abraham. While the Ishmaelites are indeed a foundational branch of the Arab family tree, they are far from the only source. Biblical and historical records, as well as Arab genealogical traditions, point to a more diverse ancestry. Other important ancestors include Joktan, or Katan, Esau, ancestor of Edom, Lot, father of the Ammonites and Moabites, and Abraham's children with Keturah, especially Midian. Arabs, like Jews, belong to the larger Semitic ethnic group. This shared origin means that Arabs and Jews are not only linguistic cousins, both Arabic and Hebrew belong to the same language family, but also genetic relatives, linked by common ancestry in the ancient Near East. Before Ishmael's descendants rose to prominence, ancient South Arabian tribes, descendants of Joktan, had already established themselves in the Arabian Peninsula. These tribes, including the famous Sabaeans, predated the Ishmaelites and were well known in antiquity. Genesis 10 provides a full list of Joktan's descendants, such as Sheba, Havilah, and Ophir, progenitors of early South Arabian civilizations. Over time, the Ishmaelites and Joktanites both came to be considered Arabs, though they originated from different genealogical lines. Many biblical figures gave rise to Arab tribes. Lot's children became the Moabites and Ammonites. Abraham's children with Keturah gave rise to six tribes, most notably the Midianites. Esau's descendants formed at least 14 named tribes. These diverse origins show that Arab identity has always been complex, encompassing many lineages tied to the broader Semitic world. Modern Jordanians, for instance, live on land historically known as Edom and Moab. Their ancestry reflects a mix of Moabites, Ammonites, and Nabataeans, descendants of Ishmael's son, Nebaioth. Genetic studies suggest that roughly 73% of the DNA in Jordanians is of Semitic origin, directly tracing back to these ancient populations. Palestinian Arabs show a similar genetic profile, with approximately 73% of their ancestry rooted in Bronze Age Semitic peoples, including Israelites. Palestinians, like Jordanians, are living descendants of ancient Middle Eastern tribes. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to join us for more such videos.